Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start another video because I just received some packages in the mail from Amazon and I only ordered one thing and two people have reached out to me letting me know that they sent me some Christmas presents. So I wanted to give you like a reading update, let you know what I'm reading and also open these presents from these kind, kind souls in my book book club. Sarah from Sarah Shelves and I are buddy reading from Lukov with Love. I told you guys about this in my end of the year TBR. We started it today. I am right here so I have a long way to go because her books, Mariana Zapata, she writes some big boys. Yeah so I'm going to be reading this over the next few days. Also super exciting, Monday I'm doing the live reading sprints with Jess um, from Reading with Jess. I don't know when this video will go up, but I'm excited about that. Now, let me change my battery and then we'll open up some presents. Okay, fresh battery. Um, yeah, so I'm expecting my bullet journal that I ordered two days ago because I just couldn't find one that I really liked in any local stores around here. Really liked the journal that I used the last two years. So I just ordered the same one. I think I ordered the same size, just in a different color, which I'm really excited about. So let me go ahead and open up these presents. Okay, so we have a box here. Feels like a book. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming that my friends in the book club got me books. Considering I linked my bookish wish list, so. Okay, it came with a note and I'm already so excited because I saw what it was. So this is from Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. It says, this series was one of my favorites from this year. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I did. And I read the first book and I have the second book. Now I have the third book and I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have been looking for this every time I've been to the book exchange because I know people in this area read this sort of thing because I've seen books like similar to this and every time I'm like where is it where is it it's never there so now I have as good as it get I uh, know as good as dead by Holly Jackson which if you didn't know uh let's see if the other books are pictured yes so a good girl's a good girl's guide to murder and good girl bad blood these are them right here. I have the third and final book. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Sarah. I am definitely going to reach out to you ASAP. I'm going to take pictures of all of this and let everybody know what I got. Ah, I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh. I want to binge this series right now. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Okay, I know. It's just like, I get overly excited. Okay, next. Yay, my bullet journal. <laughs> okay, so this is the bullet journal that I got. This is the kind that I had the last couple of years, however you say this word. Um, and yes, this is the right size, same size I had before, except for I had the black one. Um, and I put stickers all over it anyway, like my other one but I really just like the weight of the paper and the design of the paper. It's a dot grid, A5 medium, you know, information right here. Um, but this is kind of like an orangey, it's like between like an orange and like a mustard yellow. I don't know what you would call this color, but I'm very, very excited to have that because I definitely need to start my spreads now. So I ordered that for myself. Next, I have this big envelope. Okay, oh my gosh, everybody is getting me the best things. This says, um, Merry Christmas, Gwen. I hope you enjoy this graphic novel. Um, the title is too cute. Thanks for everything you do for the book club from Melissa. Ah, Melissa, I love you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is the seance tea party and I am dying to read this. Oh my gosh. This is something that I came across um, in October and um, 
yeah, I was just dying to read it, dying to get my hands on it, and I never was able to. Thank you so much, Melissa. I am so excited. And I think my book club is doing like a graphic novel thing in the new year. So I might have to save this. I might not be able to save it because I'm so excited about it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, put the note with the book. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so excited. Okay. And the last package, eh. hey, this one's hard. Okay, there we go. Okay, and the last one, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I did not think that anybody would get me this. I'm very excited. Okay, this one is from um Sharon okay so this one says thanks for all you do for the book club haven't read any of this author from Sharon thank you so much and it is The Haunting of Blackwood House by Darcy Coates you guys this is another book that I ran across in October and it's like a haunting like a haunted house not a haunting a haunted house story and I have heard nothing but good things about this author from people in the horror community people that read horror love Darcy Coates they're always saying read this book read this book and this is the one that sounded the most interesting to me so I put it on my wish list and now I have it thanks to awesome people in my book club giving me the most awesome Christmas presents. Thank you so much, Sharon. I am so excited and looking forward to this. Thank you guys so much. That was so needed after the last few days. I've been so busy and so bogged down and today I really did kind of take it easy. Um, and I was still very productive. I got a lot of stuff done, but I took the day not to vlog, but I wanted to pick up, let you guys know what I was reading and show you my Christmas presents. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Also, I figured out the color. It's tangerine, like tangerine. Good morning, friends. I'm back with another Christmas present, I think. And I just feel so blessed to have these people in my life. They're so nice to me and I can never repay them for their kindness, but let's open it up and see what we got. Of course, I'm gonna struggle. <laughs> All right, note first. Okay. Oh, this book and this amazing family. Hope you enjoy Alex and Rooney's story. Merry Christmas, Gwen, from Angela. I don't know, I'm like, what is it? Oh my gosh. I am so excited. You guys, this is the newest one in the series book number four for the Bergman Brothers series and I am so excited to start this series next year um, but the only reason I have not picked it up and started yet is I don't have book number one. I have two, three, and four now and I'm missing book one so if no one gets it for me for Christmas, then I will 100% just get it myself because I need to start this series. Thank you so much, Angela. Your support, your friendship means so much to me. I appreciate it. I'm off to take a picture and let you know that I did in fact receive it. Thank you. I'm back again, friends. I have been hard at work this morning. I just finished Bible study. I just got ready for the day. I am recording a podcast today. It is going to be the new reading goals I'm setting for 2022. And I'm recording with Sydney from Sydney Page Books here on YouTube. I um, absolutely love her channel. I'll have her linked down below. But yes, we're recording today. The episode will go up on December 13th. 
16th. And then there is only one more episode of this season for Talk Bookish to Me. And then I am launching season three, which I am so excited about. Um, I sent some Christmas cards to my Patreons today. Um, I had to get my husband, he went out to the store and got some Christmas stamps because uh, I, I need Christmas stamps on Christmas cards. It's like a whole thing. Got another Christmas gift from someone in my book club. I already opened it. I'm sorry, Jasmine but I already opened it and it says Merry Christmas Gwen. I always enjoy your content and you seem like such a kind person from Jasmine and she sent me um, Out Behind the Barn by John Bowden and Chad. I don't I'm not sure how to say that last name but guys this is a horror novella and it sounds so creepy and so good. The boys creeped to the window and watched as Miss Maggie carried the long bundle into the barn, the weight of it stooping her aging back. Rafter light spilled from the barn doors and Davy saw an arm fall from the cam canvas wrapped parcel. He smiled. She got someone. Both children grinned and settled into their beds, eyes fixed to the ceiling. This was family growth. I mean... It's short, it's sweet, but I hope that it's creepy. And this one is published by Shadow Work Publishing right down here. I saw this recommended. I was looking for some more horror novellas and I saw this one recommended and it just looks so creepy. It has like these little like bloody fingerprints on this tree i mean have you ever seen that kid artwork where you like draw the tree and they put their little fingerprints i mean <laughs> that's a little creepy anyway thank you so much jasmine i can't wait to read this one i definitely think that this will be like a january book because it is so short it's 100 pages you guys i think 100 pages or that could be like oh no yes it's 100 pages so quick read. I might even squeeze it in before the end of the year. No, I'm going to try to save it for January because I'm going to try to read the books that are on my TBR. Meaning I do have to record my podcast today, but then I seriously need to dive into From Luke Off With Love. Happy Monday, bookworms. I can't believe another year is coming to a close. That means it's time to start looking ahead and thinking about all the things we want to accomplish. Today, I'm joined by Sydney, a fellow booktuber. Her channel is City Page Books. I'll have all of her links in the notes of today's show, as always. But first, I wanted to make a huge announcement. I launched the Patreon, you guys. I wanted a way to connect on a more personal level with you, my listeners, and I know you're always seeking more content from me. <sighs> okay, you guys, little update. Is that boring to look at? <laughs> Um, little update. It's Saturday and I recorded with Sydney at 12. It is now 4.14 and I am finally done with recording and editing and emails and I need to catch up on my buddy read of fr From Luke Off With Love. Um, I am currently on page 68, and yeah, I really need to catch up because Sarah is very much ahead of me. I am back. It's been a long day. It's Sunday. I got information about my podcast, which I'm really excited about. Uh, sent things back for another edit, another look through. Um, and then I took a shower. We went to my mother-in-law's house. So I've been gone for like four or five hours. Um, and I came home. We picked up lunch on the way home. We got Jason's Deli, vegetable soup, grilled cheese on sourdough. That's my jam. And I came home to another package. Can you guys literally believe this right now? My friends are spoiling me so hard and I can't wait to see what's in here. So let's do it together. I like if there's a note. I don't feel a note. I don't feel a note in this one. Oh my gosh. 
You guys know I am all about the holiday books. I am so excited to have this one, The Holiday X-Files by Jennifer Peel. And I think I've recently heard people saying that this one was really, really cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Once upon a time, people called me the holiday queen, but catching my husband under the Christmas tree with another woman kind of did something to me, like made me digitally crop him out of all of our wedding photos and post them online. Who knew what post would go viral? Thanks to all the requests I received to do the same for other jilted partners, I started a new business called The Holiday X-Files. Hey, so I am so excited about this. Um, like I said, no note. So I will have to post a picture and ask who sent this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it though. Uh, so I really am going to try to push myself to read a bunch like this coming week because I really don't have anything going on. The first week of December was very, very busy. The second week I have nothing going on um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. But then Friday, my husband and I are leaving. We're going out of town for a few days and we won't be back until next the following week and then that Thursday I have a live show chiropractor appointment recording for the podcast and all of that so um yeah so I need to get on to some of these holiday books but maybe I can like I don't know, bang a couple of these out, take some with me. I don't know. I'm just really excited for all of my holiday books. Thank you to whoever sent this one to me. I'm going to post a picture right now and try to find out who it is so I can properly thank them. But I just wanted to catch you up. I mean, nothing really is happening. Pretty sure this is where we started this vlog. This is where we're going to end it. Reading update. I did finish from Lukoff with Love by Mariana Zapata. This is my second Zapata novel. It's a chunker and I do plan to continue picking up other books of hers. I would really like to read All Roads from here, I believe. That's on my wish list. Um, and also Hands Down is on my wish list. I think Hands Down is like a sequel to The Wall of Winnipeg and me which is the other book that I read by this author but overall I did enjoy the story I rated it 3.5 stars it is a very slow burn romance there is one sexy scene towards the end it's about two figure skaters Ivan and Jasmine and Jasmine is the main character Ivan is the hero in this and he is very much a protector and he was nothing but nice and kind to Jasmine. Jasmine was a little bit of a bitch. Uh, she cussed a lot. She just always had like always thought the worst of Ivan and I never really understood that. But basically they've been competing against each other pretty much their whole lives and now he wants Jasmine to be his partner. So they're going to start partner skating together, training and stuff like that for the next like they're going to skate be partners for the next year. Um, and she accepts because he is like a gold medalist. He's won all of these competitions. He's always coming in first and she always seems to come in like second or third. And this is her opportunity to not only skate with someone that's great, but it will be really good for her career and it will help her find a partner after their time together. I did have some problems with it. There was a lot of cussing and I'm talking a lot noticeably a lot of cussing and that's really Jasmine's fault. <laughs> I didn't like her as a main character. I much preferred Ivan and I would have either liked the story to be from Ivan's point of view. I think that would have been really cool or it be dual POV to kind of break up Jasmine's personality. She was just a little too strong for me. Um, there is also a couple of other things I want to touch on. I was talking to Sarah because I buddy read this, um, with Sarah from Sarah Shelves and 
pretty much I was just kind of like, it's okay. Like I'm not loving it. I'm not hating it. It's okay. And that's why I ended up rating it 3.5 stars. She made some really good points, but my points were, oh, I like that there wasn't this like, they were falling in love finally and then there was this conflict i i liked that it was pretty much the whole first part of the book was a conflict so then by the time they finally admitting feelings it was like okay we're here we made it uh, so that's always good about slow burn romances from mariana zapata negative weight talk there was um jasmine's family even ivan and even jasmine herself commented on her weight shape size so much in this book. So if that bothers you, I would completely steer clear of this book. However, I understand that in ice skating, especially in pairs where you're working, you know, with a partner that's going to be lifting you and, you know, there's jumping. And of course, the lighter you are, the higher you can jump and all of this. Like I get figure skating. I get it. But it was just the way it was discussed and i just didn't like it um eventually jasmine and lukoff did have a conversation about the way that they would like pick on one another and like stuff like that but i wish that would have been done earlier in the book but i still didn't like the weight talk and the way it was handled i just didn't like it and then i think another issue not only in this book but other books that i see there's this issue with the word no F women telling men no or men telling women no or just that word no in this book there are several times that jasmine tells ivan no not sexually this is non-sex romantic related for example, some of the ideas I said, um, and, and like I said, most times it was done in a joking way or he was giving her what, or Ivan was giving Jasmine what he thought she needed. Um, so the best way that I can say is just like, read it from my review. I said, um, no means no. And the more we allow these small, playful, no, stop that giggle giggle to go unnoticed, the harder it becomes for some people to distinguish from a real no. If a woman is sick and you want to take her out to cheer her up and she says no, then don't take her out. Just say, okay, I'll check in with you again tomorrow and walk it off. You know what I'm saying? Um, if a woman falls down and you reach down to help her up and she says, no, I've got it. Let her get up on her own. Take a step back. Let her get up on her own. It's pretty simple. No means no. Ultimately, like I said, Jasmine and Ivan did have a talk about the way they joked around with one another. So there was a bit of clarity there, but I would have appreciated that sooner in the story. Okay, so basically I did like the romance overall. I did like the slow burn aspect. I didn't like the cussing. I didn't really prefer um, the main character. I liked Ivan much more. I thought he was a very nuanced character. She judged him pretty hard without really knowing him. So I didn't like that. And I didn't like the, she would tell him no, like they would do a jump and, or a lift and she would fall and he would like reach down and pick her up and she'd be like, no, I got it. He'd still reach down and pick her up like that sort of thing um just don't pick her up like how easy is that so there were a few issues um but taking all that into consideration i am rating this story three out of five stars i had a bunch of fun talking to sarah as we were reading and sharing our thoughts and we pretty much like liked it the same we pretty much had the same criticisms as well 
but I am definitely hoping to read more Mariana Zapata in the new year. Um, and then I decided that I'm going to pick up Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella next. It's not as chunky, but it's still pretty chunky. It's like 450 pages, uh, but I'm going to read this one. I do have the audiobook. All right, that's downloading. So that's from my library. So I'm going to listen and read this next. I still do have quite a few books on my end of the year TBR. Um, this would be great if I could finish this before I go on my trip. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a lovely day or night. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know all of the things down in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys on Sunday's video. Um, it's going to be a fun like end of the year kind of video. Um, don't forget I will be out of town so may not get back to your comments right away but please leave them and um, yeah I'll see you when I get back from my trip. Bye guys!